welcome to the 2020 Avondale Amateur. With me here today is Ian Skinner, 2019 Men's Captain of Avondale Golf Club and 2020 Avondale Amateur Tournament Director. Hi Ian. Hi Sharon. Ian is a veteran in Avondale Amateur terms. What would this be, your fourth or fifth year? It's fourth or fifth, I'm not sure, but it feels like it's been going for I a know, while. you've been helping out <laughs> a long time. I know hundreds of hours by many staff and volunteers are necessary to prepare for an event like this. Can you share with us who your tournament committee is and their various roles? Well, we have a combination of a large number of uh, our actual committee uh, members on, on the uh, Avondale Amateur Committee. Uh, but we also have a number of people who come in with special skills and take on responsibilities. Um, Robert Kitchen organises all of our spotters. Marianne Hearn is our chief coordinator of all of our other volunteers. Um, Jeannie Henry's there, she's a bit of a, 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 been there a long time as well, and she's doing um, the, the registration of all the players. Um, Alan Simons is there as well. And of course yourself, Sharon, helping us with our social media. So it's a big team. Yeah, what a response to the tournament. Yet again, we are very fortunate to have had a men's field fully subscribed. Any standout favourites? I think it's a field where probably anybody can win it. But uh, if you're looking for standout favourites, um, I'd look at Chris Fan, who's our club champion, and Chris has been playing well. Uh, Josh Armstrong, who won a few years ago, is, is back. Um, and he'll be uh, looking to put his name on the board again. Nathan Barbieri played really well last year and has, has you know, been showing some form out at uh, New South Wales AM. Um, we've got a large contingent of uh, the Japanese national team and I'm, sh and I'm sure they're going to be very strong and also a large contingent from the UK. So those are the ones where I think maybe the winner will come from but you really can't count anybody out. No, no. You got a fun fact for us about the event? Yeah, we're making a change this year. Um, just the way we set up the course on the final day, and particularly the last six holes. Uh, before we sort of tried to set fairly tough pin positions for, for the last six to make it a, you know, not a war of attrition, but to make people battle to make power and hold on to their position. We took the view this year that we'd like to try and make those last six holes quite accessible pin positions so we can see more birdies give people chasing a bit of a chance to make a, you know, a move on the, on the leader. So uh, that's a, a different style we've taken with this year's competition. Oh, so we'll see fantastic. how it goes. Mm. Um, and course <coughs> setup, any changes uh, to last year or previous years? Yeah, mostly unchanged. Um, our course, we use a lot of red penalty areas, but we are going to remove some of those um, this year. And, and I'll be doing a note to all the players so, they, so they're aware, especially if they're regularly uh, coming here. But on 13, 14 and 17, we're going to remove red penalty areas so that um, you know, people have to be a little bit more careful how they play those holes. But uh, largely the course will be set up as it was previously. Okay. Uh, you are chair of the course committee um, in your day-to-day -day role here at Avondale. We will be speaking to Dave Warwick, who is our course superintendent. But if you can share a little bit about course preparation for an event like this. Well, it's been a fair bit different from last year. Um, as I'm sure everybody knows, we had some problems with our greens last year. So this year, our greens are really nice and healthy and, um, and firm, and we'll have them at a speed, I think, which um, people will, will enjoy playing at. So that is a, uh, an aspect we haven't had to spend too much time looking at. Course preparation, really, uh, given the dry period we've had in Sydney and across the, the state and the country, uh, a lot of course preparation has been volunteers coming in and doing hand watering of our fairways and us managing our water very carefully. As I'm sure other people have said to you, we were blessed with rain last week. So the course is greening up nicely. Um, we might have a little bit of rough this year, but a lot of players will be pleased to know the rough will not be, um, what would you say, 50, 60 metres deep. It might be 30 or so uh, there. But I expect we'll have a bit of rough um, by next week, but um, Dave and his team have been putting a lot of effort into getting the course ready for next week. Well, best of luck um, for the event. Thanks for taking the time out to talk to us. Thanks to you for watching. For the latest scores and news, please visit our website, avondaleamateur.com, or follow us on social media. If you are local and want to come and watch, Avondale Golf Club welcomes you. Entrance is free. There is plenty of parking. So come and see the best of the best play this beautiful golf course. <laughs>